All right, hi YouTube, Ivan Shaw here working on my project, getting a odometer, speedometer, fourth gear, and, um, and torque converter to lock up to work, all running off of a VSS, vehicle speed sensor. What I have here is a stepper motor. Uh, this is a 1973 international gauge that I retrofitted. Well, I made a video of it, I put it on there. This is the chip that I got done soldering. I made a another chip. This one's a more simple version of this one. It only has the one indicator light for the LED to say that my VSS is working. Um, it's got all the other things. It, this one, the only difference is it has three LED lights and it also has, I soldered these in here to make a little plug so I could plug in my pull-up resistor for the VSS. Now, this one's a lot cleaner, uh, very nice, neat, and I mean just more slim. So depending on fitment issues, I'll use this one. Uh, the relay bus that I used actually has indicator lights on it already. So these are kind of uh, just redundant lights <coughs> or LEDs. More or less what I have is I have some resistors so the LEDs don't burn themselves out. And then this is a resistor acting as a pull-up. Um, this unit right here actually runs off 5 volts which is perfect for this setup as I was able just to plug it into the 5 volts. My OLED I'm running off of the 3 volt pin and my relays I am running off of the 5 volt. I gave everything their own designated ground um, so I'm pretty much every ground on the Arduino chip that was separate I used it and they all tie back down. Or to the initial source anyways, but that way just not to uh, have it all in one spot So what I'll show you guys is this thing working the green LED right here on this one is My indicator light. I made that one the white one on this as that green LED light is a little bright um, When I put this all in the box, I it's not gonna have a huge hole in it. So I'll it won't be as bright so what I will do is I'll show you guys this thing in action and as you watch these lights will shut off as the relays come on and then these lights will come on as the relays come on. So right there is fourth gear and I got it programmed to where it gets into fourth gear at 40 mile an hour. And then it will go into overdrive, which is torque converter lockup, I should say, at 50 mile an hour. And I can change all this with the program. And if I jump it, I got it set up to where it will go back to zero without reading a pulse. So I'll kind of hover right there, and then I'll go back to zero without reading a pulse after a couple seconds. Um, That will also instantly go back. So I've got it kind of set up to where what that is is that's this signal right here losing a uh, connection. Just got it hooked up to the breadboard right there, and that's all that is. That's the signal losing a connection right there when I do that. Um, it's because everything's not soldered in like the board is. So as you can see, my OLED I now have 8.53 miles on it. Um, I'm going to show you guys this working in action. It's reading 8.52, so that's the miles, that's the tenth, and then there's the um, hundredths of a mile. Uh, it's just the way that it was put in there. I figured, why not just leave it alone? But as you can see, it goes up like you'd want it. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys got any comments or anything like that, I'll go more into detail on the code. Um, I don't really like 